But anyway, it turns out that this homosexual activist in Uganda who had been outed by a newspaper several months ago, and uh, when he was murdered, people like the New York Times came out and said, look, this is a hate crime. And guys like Scott Lively, who's an acquaintance of mine, he's written the book The Pink Swastika, I referred to that, talking about the, the infiltration of, well, the whole Nazi movement was started by homosexuals. Remember the stormtroopers? Most of them uh, were, were homosexuals because they're the only ones that Hitler could trust to be savage enough and brutal enough to carry out his wishes to quell uh, opposition. And uh, Scott Lively is one of the one, a well-researched book called this Pink Swastika brought, brought all this out to light. Now, the New York Times is out there blaming Scott Lively for this. He's, he's responsible for this. He's, it's his rhetoric that has uh, created this climate of hate in Uganda. He did some seminars over there in 2009, just giving Uganda lawmakers the truth about homosexual behavior. Now, he's being blamed for the death of this homosexual activist. Well, it turns out that the leading suspect now in that murder is his driver, the man's driver. And apparently police suspect now that he beat this homosexual activist to death with a hammer so he could rip off his money and his clothes. So once again, the media uh, out there jumping to conclusions and trying to pin the blame uh, on uh, conservatives.